Hello YouTube and welcome back to UK Highland Photography. I'm Strober and today we're going to be talking about what a sole trader is within the world of being a professional photographer. Now, what is a sole trader? Let's have a look. Let's say you want to start a business. It can be any business. Let's say you want to be a hairdresser. So there we go, you want to be a hairdresser. And then you think to yourself, no, actually, I want to be an ambulance driver. And then you think, no, I want to be a shopkeeper. And then you think, no, instead, I'm going to be a photographer, okay? No matter what profession like this you want to do, you will have to become self-employed. So, if you want to be a shopkeeper, you're going to be going self-employed. Self-employment is to be a excuse me, self-employment is to be a sole trader, okay? So if you want to be a taxi driver, you're going self-employed again, you need to be a sole trader. If you want to be a hairdresser, you're going self-employment again, which means you're a sole trader. You want to be a professional photographer, yep, you got it, you're going self-employed, which means that you are becoming a sole trader, okay? So we can now see that all these guys here, all these different professions, is a sole trader in reality. So what exactly is a sole trader? Let's have a look in more detail. The definition of a sole trader is a person who is the exclusive owner of a business entitled to keep all profits after tax. I'm gonna stop there. So that means you get to keep all the profits after tax. So what does that mean? So what that means is, let's say you made 100,000 pounds profit in a year, and it's just you in the company. Let's say you done that by yourself. When the tax man takes away his tax, let's say if you're, if you're left with 80,000 pound profit after tax. You own that 80,000 pound, it's yours. Do what you want, go on holiday, buy a house, buy a new car, it doesn't matter because that money after tax now belongs to you. So let's move on to the next part. But is liable for all losses. So what does that mean? So what does but is liable for our losses. Well, this is what it means. So you started your new business and your business is paying rent, it's paying, ta uh, sorry, like council tax, it's paying electricity, it's paying water, and it's you're getting your petrol, you know, all these expenses. And let's say your business is not making any money. So your business is not making, your, your business is bringing in no money but all this money is going out of your business. So when it comes to the end of the year, you find out that you've made no profit and instead you've actually made a loss and now your business is in debt. So what this means is that you, the sole trader, have to pay that debt. You are the person responsible for that debt. So as you can see now, if you made loads of profit, and after tax, you keep that profit. If you made no profit and you've lost money, and you've made debt, you're the one who's responsible for paying the debt. You must pay that debt. So that is basically what being a sole trader or self-employment is about. Now, once you register as a sole trader, what you have to do, this is, you've got, it's expected of you, every week, you've got to pay class two national insurance. So that means you will be paying something like five pound every week. So every, every week you will pay five pound. This is just, you won't question it, you'll just give five pound every week to be self-employed. Now, the next class four national insurance is a tax which is applied at the end of the year. And what that means is 
when you are an employee, when you work for someone else, every week they give you a pay slip, they give you your paycheck. When you look down the paycheck, you will see that the tax has been deducted. And this happens every week when you get paid. For example, if you work at ASDA, you will get a paycheck every week. You don't worry about tax. However, when you are self-employed, you don't pay your tax every week, you pay your tax every year in the form of class four national insurance. This is basically the tax man saying to you, look, I trust you. Don't pay me the tax every week. Give me the tax at the end of the year. And this is why it is important as a businessman, as a sole trader, that you don't spend your profit. Always keep your profits because at the end of the year, you will have to pay your class four tax. So let me give you an example. If you made 100 thousand pound profit you've got 100 thousand pound profit in your bank if you go out and buy a 90 thousand pound car come the end of the tax year the tax man will say to you how much money did you make in profit i made a hundred thousand pound profit well done the tax man will say to you okay so you own me twenty thousand pound but you only have £10,000 left because you bought that £90,000 car. Now your company is in debt because you own the tax man ten grand because you've only got ten grand left, but he wants twenty grand. So that is why you've got to keep your profit and pay your tax at the end of the year. Now that's basically the sole trader. That's the world of business and how sole traders work. But as you can see, we have just walked from the idea of being a professional photographer and then we've taken that idea and we've actually shown the reality of what it takes to be a professional photographer. Now guys, thank you for watching this video. I hope this video has helped a few of you understand it a bit more. If not, then I can only apologize, but I've done my best to try and explain it. But remember to subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next video.